여기서? 여기서? 오케이. 들어갈게요. 아, 시작됐을 거예요. Hello, welcome to Asian Petrol. We are actually uh, standing in front, I mean inside of Genesis Gangnam to show you the all new Genesis G80. Uh, this is what it looks like from the rear. Um, and then you probably, many of you already seen the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, world premiere they have done through the uh, internet. But we really wanted to show you the all new Genesis G80 in person. So. Uh, and uh, before we begin, uh, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. And we are going to do this live. And so uh, if you do have any questions, do let me know. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Okay, so why don't we uh, start showing the, uh, the design from the front. And um, what should I say? Um, we actually uh, want to also uh, compare it to Genesis GV80 a little bit. Um, okay, so we're kind of, only 10, per, 10 people is allowed here, so it's a little bit crowded, but we'll also try to show you the car from the front as well. Uh, we're not allowed to uh, touch the headlamp, I mean the uh, turn it on or off, uh, they have it off, but as you can see, we have a two-line DRL, just like Genesis GV80 with quad headlamp. Uh, we also have a media test drive coming tomorrow, so we'll probably show you how that works out, uh, how it changes tomorrow, okay? So, I mean, we're gonna do it tomorrow, so probably in two days, we're gonna upload a video. Genesis logo on the top, as you can see, right here, if you can show us, and two subtle lines going up so it's very very luxurious and let me just open the hood for you guys hold on let me just uh, give him some time um, G matrix pattern in the middle and as you can see uh, I love this uh, how they made the uh, radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control and when we are looking at the uh, you know rendering image I was like where do you put the license plate and this is where, the, where you put the license plate in between the uh, G matrix pattern and the camera system for the three 660 uh, view camera parking sensors here and on there too as well right here and also G matrix pattern on the bottom and you can also see that it's got the crest grill like a shield like grill grill in the middle so it's very very nicely done I think and um, you love this line let me open the hood for you guys um, even Genesis GV80 and even Genesis G90 had a little uh, line up front. But as you can see, this one, just like a, it kind of reminds me of Bentley, but it just flows nicely just with one line. So let me just open the hood line for you guys. So Adrian Jung is actually uh, filming his Korean. So, I mean, this is the first time Genesis actually putting a very clean line for the hood lamp. So, I mean, hood line. So, do love the design. So, guys, do let me know what you think about the front design. And this one is 2.5 liter turbo. Here in Korea, they're actually releasing it with three different engine choices. 2.5 liter turbo and 3.5 liter twin turbo charge. This one actually makes about 304 horsepower. Let me just take a look at the Chi Chi note and 311 pound feet of torque. And we also have a 3.5 liter twin turbo upstairs. So we're going to show you that as uh, uh, on the second floor momentarily. And the twin turbo guy makes about 380 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. Um, nice trot bars here. So this actually has a uh, you know, GDI and multiple injection, dual injectors per cylinder. So it should be very, very nice as well. I uh, hope to show you how this guy drives and also how 3.5 liter twin turbo drives like. So Genesis right here. So very, very nice. Okay. So. Yep. That's a no-go, a little bit harder. Okay, 
So do you guys let me know what do you think about the front design in the comment section and do let me know if you do have any questions. Thank you guys uh, all tuning in. And I see at 304 horsepower for the 2.5 liter turbo actually and uh, you know, 3.5 liter twin turbo will actually make about uh, 380 horsepower and 390 pound feet of, feet of torque. And we also have 2.2 liter diesel, which makes about 210 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. Okay, so any questions from the front? Yeah, A7, yes, a little bit from the uh, C pillar, but we'll also show you the uh, side design as well. Uh, no V8 Hennessy, uh, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully, maybe in the future. Okay. This uh, you asked about the uh, air vents. It's actually functional. You see, you see, it's uh, functional, right there. So it's not fake. Any more questions? Beautiful. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the real design pretty soon as well. So glad, uh, I'm glad we can show you the car in person actually. So let me just show you the car from the side. I wish I can turn on the, uh, the turn signal, but we, they kind of you know, made the car so we cannot play with the, uh, the lights. First of all, just like the front, we have two line DRL. I mean the side repeaters right here, just like the front DRL looks pretty nice it's got like a chrome strip up and down and two led lines uh, we're going to also show you how it lights up tomorrow uh, and uh, it also has a crest lines becoming like this uh, we're going to show you um, but they also add a small window near the a pillar and they place the uh, the side mirror below the the belt line, giving a very, very posit positive effect on the visibility. Okay, so good looking side mirror as well. We also have a ghost closing doors for all four doors and, you know, nice finishing here. Uh, big panoramic sunroof on the top. I'm gonna probably show you pretty soon as well. So um, let me show you the car from Yurkipuri. This actually, uh, I read it in the uh, article, I mean, not article, <laughs> the press kit. Uh, this car is about 1.3 inches wider than before and about 0.5 inches lower than before. So giving it night proportion. So guys, do let me know what you think about the proportion from the side as well. Uh, it's actually wearing a Pirelli P0 all season tire and it's wearing 245, 40 by 20 on the front and I think uh, it's wearing it's also wearing 275 35 by 20 inch at the rear and uh, do love this uh, new 20 inch rim uh, looks very massive uh, it's got the pattern very similar to Genesis GV80 but uh, do let me know what you think about the new design logo in the middle and uh, you know so as you can see like I told you uh, it has very sloping C pillar. Um, yes, uh, you know, many always say, you know, it looks like an Audi A7 whenever automaker uses a sloping roof line, but it looks pretty, uh, pretty uh, distinctive from the side. And if you can see, this chrome line is started here, it's carried all the way to the the rear of the car. We're going to show you the rear design pretty soon, but uh, let me just show you the second row seat because I just want to show you the uh, headroom and legroom. Okay. So I have to be wearing masks, so oh, let me just catch my breath. Okay. So do you guys let me know what do you think about the side design? in the comment section. Okay, so very nice. Um, can we open the sunroof? Oh yeah, it kind of opens both way. So it's very nice. Ooh, 
So it's got actually got a big primary sunroof on the top. You know, Genesis GV has a, like a dual sunroof, but this I do like this better. This has a, you know, has a big primary sunroof on the top. I did, this is optional, but you can get dual screen up up front. And um, let me also show you the. Uh, the interior volume. Um, you guys don't know I'm about 6'2", uh, which is about 187 centimeters. And legroom plenty. It's it's near the C pillar. Legroom plenty. And headroom is actually it's you know my hair is actually brushing against the uh, ceiling, but it's not touching it. So I say it's pretty good uh, even for my size. And the seat. And look at this leather it's very sexy I, I don't know what color they're calling it uh but it's got dual tone leather it's a very very sexy color and the seats are very comfortable as well and um of course we have uh, two air vents here you can lock it like this and adjust the uh, how air vents is blown and you also have a few control just few controls for the climate control you can turn it off you can turn the the way how the air is blown, okay? So, ooh, it's a little bit loud. Okay, let me just turn it off. And we also have a, you know, hump in the middle. It's quite large because it's this sedan. Uh, some map pockets here. And look, we, we can recline the seats like this. You see it? Recline the seats like this. Oh, it goes pretty far. So you can also do that for the, the other side. So it looks pretty good. And we also have a uh, you know, three stage. It's, it's, it's not working, but we have three stage heated and ventilation seats. You can also control the volume, mute it here and, uh, you know, go to many other uh, the ones. Okay. How do you, I don't think I don't think you can, but I think you can also control the screens from here as well. We also have a, you know, more right sunshade back here. Uh, it's not turned on right now for somehow, but you can also write here, but it's just not showing on the screen. So I hope to show this a little bit more tomorrow when we get uh, through the immediate test drive. We also have uh, one USB charging port and uh, earplugs for the uh, uh, microphone and because we don't have uh, you know the second row does not fall so we are given a passage through in the middle we have a uh, three headrest right here which is very very nice uh, there's no massaging seats though okay so guys do let me know if you do have any questions about the second row seats okay so let me uh, my phone just does not recognize me because of the <laughs> mask. Give us a second. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like a Apple keyboard wheel. <laughs> it looks a little bit similar, but G80 Sports. Uh, let me ask a uh, little, bit, little bit to the guys. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> take your money yes uh u.s diary like i said three stage heated and ventilation seats um this is e-segment yes xi jinping uh yeah so uh what do you need uh yeah i'm 6'2 187 so glad you guys like this uh do let me know if you do have any questions because i think we can have this uh about for an hour uh, they said you know not, not so much time left, but I think we can get it for about an hour. So, um, very nice, uh, you know, suede on the top. Um, oh, yeah. It's manual. I don't understand because Genesis GV80 had, uh, you know, more rise, but some, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why. LED, uh, full LED interior light, 18 speaker Lexicon system, um, ambient light. Uh, and window goes all the way down like that. So it's got a pair window, a more rice right pair window right there. So, so yeah, when you 
take the uh, uh, armrest like that, it's pretty good. We also have a two cup holder popping tight like that, so okay, which is very, very nice. I love this uh, brown color, um, so it's pretty good. I, I have a brochure over there, so after showing you the design, let me just show you which color they offer. As Ooh, wow, it comes out like this, so huh, that's a really something. Um, I don't know how it's gonna be affected when you drive fast. I think that's gonna make a lot of noise, but uh, like I said, a ghost closing doors. Fuel here, a little bit larger because they also are offering with diesel. Probably they're gonna put something here for the Ed Blue as well. So lovely looking um, 20 inch rims. So let me also show you the rear design as well. So. Just like the front, it has a dual line LED. I asked uh, one of the person working here, they said it's full LED this time. So everything LED, turn signal, LED, backup lamp. So it's fully LED. So you see that it's LED as well. So guys, we have a full LED tail lamp finally. Okay. so. This will blink as a bi function, but like I said, it's somehow we're not allowed to touch the lights. Oh, right, that, that one works. So that's how the, uh, the headlamp works, but we'll show you pretty soon. Uh, but let's get back here. Um, Genesis G80 lettering. Genesis lettering in the middle so that you don't get confused, right? I mean, if you take out these, they might think it's something else, right? All wheel drive system here. And reflectors here and dream matrix pattern in the middle as well. And I'm thinking when you put, a, put it into reverse, I think it's going to have a, that LED, uh, um, the tail lamp guideline, just like you, we showed you with the uh, Genesis G90. A lovely looking dual exhaust on the each side. So, and I, I really, really love how they crafted this this part of the trunk, so it, it can also act as a spoiler a little bit. Uh, just lovely. They put a little chrome strip on the bottom, and I, I think it just looks fantastic with the blue, black color. Okay, so they also have this, uh, you know, shield-like pattern going on right here. That's for the uh, 360 camera. You can open the trunk like this. Of course, it's got power lift gates. I think. This is where they put a hazard triangle, but somebody took it. <laughs> so some nets on either side. Um, trunk seems to be very nice, has a nice size and very nicely uh, packaged all together. And uh, here in Korea, we don't get spare tire, just some tools and also a fixer flat kit. But, you know, we have uh, lots of room back here. so. I think, oh, battery is actually placed bottom here for, for the better weight distribution. And look how big that is. Uh, probably has an order start and stop function to save fuel. And uh, because there's lots of room, I think if you get it this car from North American, uh, I think they will give you spare tire as well. Let me just open the uh, ski through. I mean, the passage through in the middle for you guys. Any questions? So, yeah, so if you're going skiing or something, you can use this ski through or pass it through in the middle. So any questions about the rear design, trunk? So you can, any questions? <sighs> it's just hard to breathe. So guys, do let me know which one do you like, Genesis GV80 or G80? Uh, from let me show the car from this, this angle. Um, I definitely do like uh, you know, SUVs too, but looking at this from, from this angle, just a lovely proportion, right? Because this is sedan, it has a very nice proportion and the angle just looks a whole lot better from this side. And you know, I like the front design too, but you know, I really love the, the rear design. So, any questions? Yep. A blue ad. 
J, J2, uh, AdBlue, because, uh, you know, diesel engines need, uh, you know, some things uh, to make it cleaner. So that's what I was talking about. Uh. Oh, somebody also uh, asked about the, uh, the pricing. The pricing is actually a uh, 2.5 liter turbo is actually the cheapest one. Um, we don't have international pricing yet, but uh, if we just do the direct conversion, um, 2.5 liter turbo will actually start to around 43k US dollars and uh, 3.5 liter turbo is a little bit more expensive and that one's going to start around 48k and uh, 2.2 liter diesel which is like in between the 2.5 liter turbo and 3.5 liter turbo is actually going to cost you a starting price of 45k okay so no hybrid uh, we are told for now and uh, let me just show you the car. Let me just show you the uh, where it all matters, right? The driver's seat. Okay. Oh. Okay. Some things work and some things don't work here. I don't know how they managed to do it like this. Okay. First of all, the steering wheel. Many of you hate hate the uh, steering wheel from G. B80, but this G80 has actually, look, it's got a normal looking steering wheel. I, I kind of do like it. It's a very, very nice two dual tone. This is hard plastic, which is a little bit of shame, but this right here, all leather. Even this is soft touching material. So looks very, very nice. Uh, we have a voice command, uh, phone control. Uh, that's for the, uh, uh, your, whatever you like to have it as a button there. <laughs> and uh, you can also change the, uh, whatever you want to put it. Uh, That's for the adaptive cruise controls. Uh, some controls for the volume and also channel as well. Lovely looking uh, soft touching materials here, here. All leather, 18 speaker Lexicon sound system. Uh, we have lots of G-Matrix pattern design going on here. Window comes down all the way down like that. It also has double laminated window even for the uh, first window and um, if you see uh, it's got a small window near the eight pillar as well and uh, the side mirror is actually very very good size as well. We also have uh, two memory seats and just just lovely it's got so much premium leather and even this part is no, there's no plastic. It's, they have it with some matte kind of thing, uh, leather, soft touching material. So this this is all covered with uh, soft touching materials as well, padded. Oh, they locked it. Okay, and uh, lovely, lovely looking wood trim. And how they look, how they place the uh, hazard button. That's really awesome. They usually just stick it somewhere here or just throw it anywhere, but they really thought about where to place the hazard button, so which is really nice. Uh, engine start and button right here, not supposed to fire it up. So, and uh, just like Genesis GV80, it has a very clean line going all the way like that. Airbags. I heard this car also has 10 airbags. So if if you kind of get into a big accident, there's going to be also one airbag separating the driver and the passenger and um, you know it's got lovely lovely seats uh, it's very very nice uh, I feel very comfortable even sitting right here um, even the bottom right here where the cup holders are it's it's nicely padded so it's a very very nice and uh, of course it's very they use a very nice leather here yeah, even on the top. We also have head-up display, and uh, if you can show them, uh, this is actually three-dimensional gauge cluster, just like the one we have shown through the uh, with the uh, Genesis GV80. Uh, there's actually two trackers on the top, actually tracking your movement. So I don't know if if you move it like that, kind of kind of tracks your movement, so that you don't have to be wearing any glasses for this system to work. 
We also have paddle shifters here. And to the right, there's also a pen and core inch infotainment screen, uh, which is very, very nice. Looks like this. Uh, it's, yes, it's a 14.5 actually, I'm sorry. 14.5 inch system. Um, you know, they have this in Korean for now, so maybe tomorrow when we do the media test drive, I'll try to show you the car. And you can also have uh, augmented reality. So uh, it actually uh, just uh, pulls the image from the front image, from front camera and put it on the screen. And they also put the uh, navigation guidance right on the top. So it's actually very easy to you know, I kind of like it. It's a new technology. So guys, do let me know what you think about it. Um, we also have, uh, you know, very good chrome strip sort of thing going on with the buttons for the map, navigation, radio, media, uh, star button for your favorite thing uh, set up. Um, we also have a uh, physical buttons right on the side, right there. So six and two dials and one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'm being stupid. So six here, six here, and two dials, lottery dials, and whatever is in here, they are, they are touch sensitive buttons, but you know, it's got two heated steering wheel, air cleaning mode. Oh, very nice. Okay, let me just show you one more time. Uh, when you turn on the uh, air cleaning mode, it's automatically lifts the uh, window, assuming that it is, uh, you know, dirty, the air is dirty outside. So it's, it's right here, they got a separate control and we also have a uh, touch sensitive buttons, it's, but it's actually pretty easy, easy to use. Uh, we also have very lovely, lovely looking open pore wood trim. Um, this is like the best quality wood trim I ever seen. Um, you can also close it. Um, I don't know where I left my phone. Oh, right here. You can also have a, uh, maybe it's not working, but that's a wireless charging pad. One fast USB charging port and also a SS uh, memory reader here. And you know, like I told you, the volume button and tune button is actually made out of like a, like a lottery type, uh, like out of Porsche, but it's a little bit smaller. First, I really, really hated it, but after driving Genesis GV80 for a couple, you know, days, I really begin to like it because right here, like when you put your arm like this, this is really, really comfortable to just use the, uh, the uh, lottery system. So it's, I changed my mind. I say it's a pretty good one. Um, you can't, you know, straight touch on the uh, infotainment screens. Um, it's got everything you need right here, but you can also use this, uh, separate control because 14.5 inches is a little bit far you you know i have a very very long arm but it's even for me it's really hard to reach so this separate control is actually very very nice to uh use and uh of course it takes a little bit of time but you know after a while you kind of get used to it and it becomes my became my favorite thing um you can also write here and also right here on the screen. I'm a bad writer. So oh so wow. Oh yeah, it's H, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really good with the uh, writing. So you can do it, but I don't understand why. There's no way you can drive you can be driving and writing at the same time, which is also very, very um dangerous as well. We also have auto hold, uh, park assist. Um, I don't know where the key is, but uh, uh, we also have, uh, I heard this also has a park assist feature, just like we showed you uh, with the uh, Sonata Genesis GV80, but I heard this can even move in and out of parking spot and also do the, uh, you know, park itself sort of thing. So hope to show you this uh, uh, when we get a press car, okay? And just like the uh, Genesis GV80, it also has a dial type lottery system. Um, you know, top one for the parking, turn left to go to reverse, turn right to go to neutral, and turn right to go to uh, drive. It's a very straightforward system. And 
But I, like I told you many times, I personally do like the push button type from my Hyundai Palisade. So guys, do let me know which one you kind of prefer. The dial type selector from Genesis G80 or Hyundai Palisade. Um, lovely looking G matrix pattern even here as well. So chrome strip kind of nicely uh, separating this side to the other side. Uh, dry mode selector. We have uh, four drive modes, Comfort, Sports, Eco, Custom. Uh, hope to show you that as well uh, when we get a press card. 360 surround view monitor, uh, very nice. We can also do it like this. This is the regular one, just like Genesis GV80. It also has, it's, it's very similar to Audis system. Do you really need it? Probably not, but why not, right? Something to brag to your friends about. Um, so yeah, I think I showed you everything about the car. Um, 10 airbags, uh, very nice uh, right here. Some things for the makeup. Uh, so that's full LED. Uh, it also has a two channel built-in camera right here. You can use it. And it also has a you know, high pass system. It's like a you know, toll pace payment system you can put to, the card here. You can also just press here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, yeah. So, hey, do let me know if you do have any questions. Do let me know in the comment section. So, so, yeah, I'm just uh, having trouble reading a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you so much so much of you guys for tuning in um let me just i don't know where the all the uh, comments are hold on give us a second Whew. so thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm just trying to find my where the comments are uh huh it's weird okay okay found it NFC door opening, yes, probably. Uh, it will, uh, this also has a Genesis uh, link uh, that will actually uh, let you start the car, open the car, open the trunk, and everything. So, uh, G80 Sports. Uh, let me just ask the guy. Genesis Sports. Genesis Sports. Okay, I asked the, uh, the personnel working here and they said, uh, you know, 3.3 liter twin turbo was called Genesis Sports back, back then. But uh, they, they said uh, they haven't heard anything about Genesis G80 Sports uh, because maybe they're going to add some uh, more powerful uh, variant. But uh, currently, uh, what he knows is that uh, currently it's going to be released with 2.5 liter turbo. 3.5 liter twin turbo and 2.2 liter diesel. So, and they're not going to call it sports or anything like that. Just uh, Genesis G80 with three powertrains. But uh, maybe in the future they're going to, you know, maybe tune it up or put a V8. Uh, but he hasn't heard anything about Genesis G80 sports. Okay. So let me just uh, let me show you the uh, the turn signal because. You can do the back only with a hazard. So as you can see, uh, it's got hazard button here. I mean, yeah, hazard button here. Side repeaters, very lovely. I think this, this, when you when you see the car approaching from this angle, it kind of really, really shows the identity. Two lines here and on the kind of repeats itself so it's very nice uh front as well so so let me uh grab my brochure
because I really wanted to show you the car. So these are probably some letters they are using. G80, wow, G70. Oh, G, so these are used for G70, 80, 90. This is only for G70. That's for GV80. Oh, G80, this, this one uh, is probably what a tester had. Havana Brown, nice. So, and uh, you know, I just really wanted to. This is the exterior color. Uh, matte, uh, Satan, you can get it with the, uh, the white or Melbourne gray. Or this is the regular colors. I think, I don't know how many colors they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen colors. Ah, oh, wow. So, guys, do let me know. Can you all see it? Do you let me know which one is your favorite color? Okay. And interior colors. Uh, Where's the interior color? Oh, so you, ha you also have this bluish. Uh, metallic, brown. Yeah, so vanilla gray, gray forest. I, I think there's like uh, six cars here. So why don't we just show you uh, around, okay? Do let me know if you do have any questions. Um, So this is somewhat like a, I don't know what color this is. This is probably like a Thousand Island sauce color. <laughs> I'm hungry too, yes. Um, maybe that's a Sahara beige, right? This one. Looks very, very like a Bentley to me. Uh, so guys do let me know. So this one is also very nice. Uh, this one has a, some sort of a, maybe, yeah, graceful gray, I think. So it looks very nice. Um, so inside it's got like a very um, two-tone beige sort of thing. So that's Editor John working hard here. <laughs> so let's walk upstairs. Do let me know if you, have any questions? Anything you'd like to uh, see? I'm, I'm going to try to show you the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged gasoline engine. Let me know if you have any questions. <sighs> so. I don't know if Eddie is watching this, but this is the white color. You uni white. Wow. That's a very lovely color. Uh, yep, it's going to be hard to uh, maintain the color, but that looks very nice too. And if you see inside, it's got a little bit beige looking color. A little bit lighter than the one we showed you. So. This white looks very, very nice too. Yeah, white really, wow, that's really white. So, very nice. Um, so Corey, uh, actually a 3.3 liter twin turbo charge is replaced by a 3.5 liter twin turbo. So this actually has uh, some sort of a metallic color. Coast coast silver maybe, I don't know. Let me see, maybe this has 3.5 liter turbo. Let's see, let's cross our fingers. Oh, in the US, ah, ah this is, this is, 
2.5 liter turbo as well. But he's actually feeling me. Uh, ah. Hold on, I, I think they're going to open the, the hood. Uh, we actually are being kicked out uh, because there's people waiting inside. Ah. 요거 좀 보여드리고 싶은데 사, 여기 <웃음> 씻고 계셔 그죠? Um, yeah, because only 10 people can enter this facility, Genesis Gangnam. So our time's up. Uh, maybe we've been here for an hour. Did we? No. But uh, actually, um, we have to get out. So, uh, but I, I, I bet. We're going, like I said, uh, we're going to have a uh, you know, media test drive tomorrow, and I think they're going to have 3.5 liter twin turbo. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, we're going to unload uh, that video um, on Tuesday uh, from Korea's uh, standard, so, which means on Tuesday for you guys. So, so stay as well. As well. Um, yeah, so we don't have much time. So. We actually need to pack and get out of this facility. So if you do have any questions, do let me know in the comment section uh, so we can show you before you get out, okay? Last minute questions. Yes, uh, everybody stay healthy. Yeah, so. yeah so thank you guys for everybody for tuning in and um, like i said we're gonna have a media test drive of genesis g80 tomorrow so we're gonna film it tomorrow and uh edit it and because we have an embargo um we're gonna have to actually give it to you guys in two days um so um, i'll let you know uh through the notification so Thank you guys so much for tuning in and before you leave please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys and uh, see you tomorrow and uh, stay healthy bye bye